Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news of more subdued economic signals. Giant equipment maker Caterpillar in industrial bellwether has sharply cut its forecast, saying the trade wars are hurting it. Sales in Asia-Pacific, its third largest market, fell 13% as it faced falling demand in China and stiff competition from local rivals, while revenue in the main developed world market in North America fell 3%. This contrasts with China growth for them of 36% in the prior year and North American growth of 15% on the same basis. Equity markets also absorbed the news of a major profit fall at Boeing, although that hasn't been a big surprise given the 737 MAX problems. So far today, Wall Street is up a lacklustre 0.1 of a percent following mixed European markets. Shanghai and Hong Kong were lower yesterday and the NZX50 had a terrible day, closing down more than 2%. In Canada, their wholesale trade slumped in September. It was expected to be lower, but not actually in decline. In the EU, consumer confidence survey data showed the same trend, coming in even worse than analysts were expecting, and at the worst level of the year. In China, their chopped judicial and police authorities have made lending at annualised rates above 36% a criminal offence as part of a crackdown on underground lending. Actually, the court ruling happened in July, but bringing the government agencies into line has taken a while, and the multi-agency stance was only announced yesterday. This will have broad implications for many firms. In Australia, they are reporting that foreign money, mainly Asian, but not Chinese, is pouring into their commercial property investment. US Treasury 10-year yield is lower than this time yesterday, down four basis points at 1.75%. Gold has recovered the ground it lost yesterday, up $8 to $1,492 an ounce. U.S. oil prices are much firmer today, up more than a dollar, and now just over 55.50 a barrel. The Brent benchmark is just over $60.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is still firm against the greenback, now at 64.2 U.S. cents. On the cross rates, we're firm as well at 93.8 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're at 57.7 euro cents. That puts the trade weighted index up to 69.2. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.